Hello, we're going to continue our reading in Eris Birthday by Avi. Today is chapter 16, Hunting. Aerith was staring glumly over the snowy field, trying to decide what to do next, when Nimble popped out of the hole. I'm ready, she announced brightly. Ready for what? Don't you remember? You said hunting was to be my job. Is the den cleaned up? Oh, sure, Nimble assured him. Do you want to see? No. Okay, but if you want to teach me how to hunt, I'm ready to do it now. No antelope uncles. Eris swore. I told you, I don't know anything about hunting. I should be a good hunter, Nimble said. My mother was, and my father's really, really great. Aerith looked around. You have any idea when this father of yours is coming back? Hmm. Nope, Nimble said earnestly. He just comes and goes. He's a very busy fox. Busy at what? Nimble's eyes narrowed. Are you suggesting he isn't busy? Aerith decided not to pursue the matter. Instead, he asked, Where do you usually hunt? Right down along the bluff here. Mom always said we mustn't go too far. Should I go then? Nimble asked. Aerith was about to say yes when he thought about the human hunter's traps. Mm, I'd better go with you. He announced. Great! Nimble bounded off. Mm, don't go so fast. Eris shouted after the fox. His short legs struggled to carry him through the snow over the rocks and around the boulders. Pausing, Nimble looked around and grinned to see how awkward Aerith was. After much panting and scowling, Aerith caught up with the young fox. Oh, listen here, flea brain. Your legs are a lot longer than mine, so keep it down to a decent crawl. I will, but... She stopped speaking suddenly. What is it? Aerith asked. I smell something. What? Where? Right down there, at the bottom. Nimble whispered. Aerith looked but could see nothing. The young fox made her way down the face of the bluff, pointing her nose now this way, now that, sniffing. Suddenly she froze. With her belly low to the ground, she stretched out to her full length. Uh, be careful! Aerith cautioned. Shh! Nimble replied. Tail stiff behind her, the young fox moved one step at a time, all but slithering toward whatever it was she had detected. Aerith, trying to keep his eye on the kit, but feeling more clumsy than ever, struggled hard to catch up, skidding and slipping over the rough terrain. Below, Nimble prepared to pounce. Suddenly, Aerith broke through the snow, only to strike a patch of rocks and boulders. His legs went out beneath him. As he tried to right himself, he caused a small landslide. Rocks and snow cascaded past the fox. One rock popped up into the air. It came down in front of Nimble's nose. No sooner did the stone hit the snow than two jaws of steel rose up and snapped together, clamping on the rock with a hor horrifying metallic clack. Don't move! Era screamed. A baffled Nimble came up out of her crouch and stared at the object. What? What is it? She asked. Aerith, heart hammering, shouted, It's a trap! Don't breathe! Don't think! Nimble leaned forward and sniffed. <laughs> Didn't you hear me, you busted bottle of chicken clots? There may be other traps near you. Moving with great caution, Aerith inched toward the exposed trap, his small black eyes looking this way and that. But what's a trap? Nimble asked. It's... It's made by humans, Eris said, struggling to get his breath back. To catch animals like you and me. It's what caught your mother. That's what killed her. Nimble's eyes grew very big. Oh, she said. Eric leaned forward toward the sprung trap. It had a hard, oily reek that turned his stomach. When he thought of their walk last night from one den to the other, Nimble's pursuit of the vole. It made him feel faint to realize how lucky they had been. Nimble came forward and sniffed at the trap. But, but it smells like good food, she said, still baffled. 
Mm, that's the bait, Eareth said. And there are 14 more of them. Oh, dear, Nimble said. In a small voice, she said, where? And that's just the point, Pug Pill. I don't know. Aerith was so upset he was shouting. But why are you so angry at me? Nimble asked, backing away. I'm not angry at you, Aerith screamed. I'm angry at the whole world. But does that mean we can't go anywhere? <clears throat> it means we have to be super careful. The snow makes everything worse. You can't see anything. You'll have to think. Got it? For once in your life, you're going to have to use your bindle bit of a baby brain. I'm not a baby. No, oh, you're a child. Earth raged on. It's the same thing. And I'm the only one who has to take care of you. No, you don't. No. If I hadn't thrown that rock right there, you would have been... You would have never seen that trap. What? You didn't throw it. You fell and it rolled down. Nimble pointed out. It was nothing but stupid luck. Ugh, never mind luck. There are other traps around waiting to grab you. I can't, uh, I can't be as easy. I can't be easy, not, not until we get them all. But, but how do we do that? Oh, that's just the point about eyes. Eris screeched in frustration. I don't know. He turned away to hide his angry tears from his eye in his eyes. All I know is I have to do something fast. That's the end of chapter 16.